The new trailer for Creed has come out. Uh, not the band Creed, but more for Apollo Creed, a la the Rocky movies. And it's a good trailer, I would say. However, some would argue that it shows too much. Too much of the movie is shown off on it. And it's, it brings up a question, which is, do trailers give away too much of the movie? Would it be better if we had you know, maybe a trailer that gave the mood or hint of what's to come rather than saying this is what's going to happen line by line. Yeah, maybe it's just a trait with boxing movies because a movie that I was so eagerly anticipating, Southpaw, just mm -hmm. showed you exactly what was going to happen at the start. Like, I understand when boxing movies, this is an argument I had with many people that said, oh, boxing movies are just the same. Of course they're the same. It's all about overcoming adversity and using boxing to get you back to where you have to be, apart from Raging Bull, which is a classic on its own. But Southpaw... You didn't have to show us that Rich McAdams get shot in the trailer. Like we could I have did. understood. Like it, I understood what was going on exactly. You wouldn't have. I, I didn't need to see it, and they didn't get my money. Exactly, but that's the thing. Like so, I I could have honestly written reviews for back home. I could have written a review based on that trailer. Mm -hmm. I, it was so easy. Would to Would you go f so far as to say that the trailer ruined the movie for you? No, I, but I'm. I mean, if I didn't love Jake Gyllenhaal with a weird passion like I do, then I wouldn't. Not, not that weird. I just like him as an actor. But if I didn't love him with that weird passion, then I. Would it would have ruined it for me, but I was just eager to see how he performed in that role more so because you couldn't really tell his performance in that in that brief moment. But the storyline was just laid out flat, and that's where it's frustrating. And I guess with Creed, most people who are familiar with the franchise know what it's about anyway. So mm -hmm. they're kind of maybe they're showing you so much, and then that allows them to kind of give you a weird spin in the movie. So again, talking about other trailers maybe leading you in the wrong direction deliberately. Well, it's also let's think about why. Um a, a movie marketing campaign would want to show too much or, or a lot of the movie in a trailer, mm -hmm. which is it doesn't matter. You're going to buy the ticket anyway, yeah, exactly. which is maybe that's more the goal is to, you know, get that money. What a shock. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, tell a story or or not give away the whole story and, and give the, uh, a memorable viewing experience. We can all say that trailers nowadays, are, it's, oft, it's almost ridiculous how much coverage is given to trailers. Like, I think Ben Affleck sneezed on the set of Suicide Squad and it got turned into a story. What? what? No way! He's, the he's got germs! <laughs> and that's what it's turning into because everyone nowadays, we, we are so eagerly anticipating all these movies that nothing is a surprise. We mm -hmm. get a Deadpool trailer released before it's supposed to be released and then everyone's oh, anticipating the release. You mean like leaks. Yes, leaks so as well. So it's leaks. like. It's all, they're all in it together, Kim. They're all in it to get our money because as soon as that trailer gets leaked, how much coverage gets built up around that movie from that leaked trailer? So I, this is where I don't believe that I've these trailers are actually I've definitely leaked. fallen victim to this because guess yeah. what? I am obsessed with Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yes. You know, leaked materials and press pictures, not press pictures, you know, set pictures and whatever J.J. Abrams wants to show us on his Twitter, like, I'm crazy for it. And yeah. you know what? I'm going to see that movie no matter what. So they're, they're going to get my money. Yeah. But not everything is Star Wars. Not everything has, you know, such a, a solid base of fans already built in. And that's why it becomes, as I just mentioned, to go back to Creed, it's a very niche audience because the niche audience of Rocky fans know what the storyline's basically about. But mm -hmm. trailers, are, trailers that overexpose too much might ruin it for the neutral fans. Like you said, you didn't want to go and see Southpaw because... You might not have been a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal, but you might have liked the concept based on what you've heard around it. And mm -hmm. then they show you the trailer and you're going to know exactly what's happening. And the same with the Creed trailer. They might just show too much that those neutral Rocky fans just don't, that don't know as much about the, the storyline now mm -hmm. don't want to see it because they've just been told everything, basically. Yeah, so it's just it's a toss up. I, I I think I think a lot of these companies that are marketing movies have already made their decision, which is, look... We're just going to put it out there. You're going to eat it up. You're probably going to see it anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Um, I don't know. So would you say there's any movie that was ruined for you by the trailer? I actually liked the Jurassic World movie based on the trailer because it was so overly... Like, people were already criticizing the trailer so much, or well, the product placement and everything else. Like, I felt like that led me in the wrong direction mm -hmm. to the point that I actually enjoyed the movie. Ah. One movie that I'm expecting to enjoy, I can already say this out there based on the trailer, is Batman versus Superman. Because I feel that they're doing a very smart job of leading people directly in the wrong direction. I can already eagerly anticipate that there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a twist on that, that people are, are leading you to believe that Superman is now gonna be a villain in this storyline. Mm. So I feel that it's gonna lead me to, to, to some sort of twist that I'm not expecting. So that's when it does come to full circle.
I'm very wary about Batman versus yeah. Superman. And that's the other side trailers. of it. It's because there's too many trailers. Well, and then too also, much I, w I felt that way about Terminator Genesis, and it turns out I was probably right. Uh, <laughs> that's my opinion, though. You may have loved the movie. I will say uh, there was one trailer that I really loved but was very disappointed by the movie, which is The Matrix Reloaded. I love that trailer. Go look it up if you want to, audience. It is bomb, and the movie is not. Yes. Uh, but I want to ask the question to you is, do you think that trailers ruin the movie experience now by giving too much away? And are there any trailers that you would say made the movies better for you or maybe worse? Let us know below in the comments and please subscribe for more.